Hi everyone, this video is about heat transfer characteristics of nanofluids in heat exchanger and I am Karthik, my batchmates are Hari Prasad and Gautam and we are guided by Mr. Mohammed Iqbal, Assistant Professor in Bell Tech University, Avad. This is the outline of our project. These, uh, these topics are we are going to see through this presentation. Introduction Basically, nanofluids are colloidal suspensions of nanoparticles which have only one critical dimension smaller than 100 nanometer. Here we are going to use base fluid as water, uh, deionized water and the applications of heat transfers are power generations, automobiles, electronic devices, etc. And this is our abstract. In this, uh, we are using a zirconium oxide nanofluid, nanofluid using a in the silent tube heat exchanger of uh, different volume concentrations of 0.1 to 0.5 and we measure the thermal conductivity thermal conductivity specific heat and viscosity of 20, 40 and 60 degrees celsius this is the objective of our project uh, in this project we have to enhance the heat transfer coefficient of base fluid using the zirconia water nanofluids at the different volume concentration post convection system these are the testing process we have done for this project x-ray diffraction scanning electron microscope sonication thermal conductivity that is by transient hot wire method viscosity using broke field viscometer and specific heat using differential scanning calorimeter this is the nanoparticle the nanoparticle here we are going to use is zirconium oxide uh, we are using zirconium oxide because uh, the um, it is good physical and chemical stability and wear resistance the specifications of zirconium uh, of zirconium oxide is spherical in shape and it is below 40 nanometer and it is about 99.2 percentage purity and the density is 5680 kg by meter cube that's why we have chosen zirconium oxide for this project this is the results of uh, zirconium oxide xrd diffraction uh, it is um, nanoparticle monoclinic phase monoclinic phase and is less than uh, 1170 degrees celsius and it's cubic less than 2370 degrees celsius this is the scanning electron microscope images shows that the particle is in spherical shape preparation of nanofluid we have used magnetic stirrer for dispersion of nanoparticles into base fluid here the base fluid is water deionized water and we have done through magnetic stirrer thermophysical properties we have measured one thermal conductivity it is done through the device kd2 pro and it is done in nid 3 c second one viscosity it is used uh, by uh, it is taken by the device brookfield viscometer in iit madras and three specific heat done to the, through the device uh, differential scanning electrometer in iit madras this is a kd2 pro thermal analyzer which is works on the principle of transient hot wire method. We, first, we have to calibrate our KD2 Pro for con uh, measuring the thermal conductivity. The calibrations of the KD2 Pro is done using the water and the glycerin, and we got the uh, results of the calibration. This is for uh, measuring our thermal conductivity of our nanofluid ZRO2, and we got our results for a uh, 0.2, 0.3, which is shown here. And this is a KD2 Pro result against the volume concentration against thermal conductivity and it shows the increment in a linear increment in a thermal conductivity against the volume concentration and with it and with the this is the effective thermal conductivity versus volume concentration here we use the two treated models like maxwell granite model and hamilton person model this is for a viscosity result viscosity of a dynamic viscosity versus temperature and Kinematic viscosity versus temperature and it's uh, done against the temperature of 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. This is for a uh, result on a DSC and we got uh, and we got results against the temperature and we sh shown here and uh, this is for a uh, temperature with a density and it shows uh, decrease decrease in density against the temperature increase. This is the experimental setup. The blue box is cell and tube heat exchanger and this is the setup we have done the um, successfully done with zirconia and water water as a blessed fluid zirconium is a nanoparticle 
and the drawbacks is only leakage problem. That's it. And this is a result of experimental setup, and we got the increment in uh, heat transfer coefficient against the volume concentration, and it shows uh, the uh, linear increment in uh, linear increment in heat transfer coefficient against the volume concentration. And this is the result uh, from this uh, project. We are come to know that uh, heat and nanofluids are advanced thermal engineering applications. The results are promising for developments of nanofluid for advanced thermal engineering applications. This is the schedule of our project. We have done through the schedule. Thank you. Thank you.